NFC stands for Near Field Communications. It's a communications technology uh, that allows you to transmit very small amounts of information over a very short range. Uh, historically, with wireless devices, it's very difficult to determine which device is going to talk to another device, and there's usually um, some sort of user interaction involved, and it becomes very inconvenient. Uh, that problem is solved with NFC. All you need to do is bring two devices close together. There are no other devices in the area to worry about, and they can communicate automatically without any user intervention. Uh, there are a lot of applications that, that NFC opens up. Uh, once you don't have to worry about not knowing which device you're going to connect to or having to deal with all those configurations, uh, you can do lots of things very easily. Uh, for example, mobile payments with your cell phone. Uh, very popular. You want to uh, have your information on your phone so that you could walk into a store, simply hold your phone over a reader in the store, and pay for things without ever having to pull out a credit card or configure device to talk to that store. Uh, other applications uh, similar to that would be uh, boarding passes for an airline. Uh, you simply walk up to the gate, hold your phone near a reader, and without any configuration, your boarding pass is delivered and you walk onto the plane. Um, other applications might be phone-to-phone -phone communications. If I had a, uh, a V-card on my phone and you had a V-card on your phone, we simply put our phones together, exchange our information, no configuration, and we're done. Uh, historically, if you want to exchange information between two Bluetooth devices, you need to manually configure those devices. You need to go through a discovery phase and a, a configuration phase in order to tell your devices uh, which ones you want to communicate. Uh, with NFC, that can be done automatically. When you hold two NFC-enabled phones together, uh, they'll exchange the Bluetooth pairing for you, and that information then allows the Bluetooth connection to be formed without any user intervention. Uh, when you're developing an NFC device, uh, the biggest challenge is the antenna. Uh, in NFC, uh, the signal strengths are very low, uh, and getting the antenna design just right makes it easier for people to hold their phones together to get them to communicate. Uh, outside of that, there are a lot of protocols that are part of NFC. Even though there's not much data, there's still a lot of different ways that that data can be transferred back and forth, uh, and uh, sending it back and forth reliably can be a challenge. Um, in addition, there's, there's many NFC vendors out there, uh, all making different applications and different phones. Um, and even though they're all following the same specification, uh, there can still be issues with uh, having two devices uh, come together and actually be able to effectively communicate. Well, you uh, use a frontline analyzer uh, in order to take a look at what's going on between these two devices to see. It's very possible that you could see um, data has been lost between two devices or data has been corrupted. Uh, without a protocol analyzer, you'd never see that. Uh, this is the Frontline NFC Protocol Analyzer. Uh, it's small, it's portable, it's meant to be very easy to use, and when paired with our software, it can show you everything that's going on in your NFC conversation between the two devices. And one of the biggest advantages that Frontline has is that since we're also big in the Bluetooth space, uh, we can combine this analyzer with our Bluetooth analyzer, and for systems that use both NFC and Bluetooth, we can show you in real time on the screen your NFC messages, your Bluetooth messages, and in those cases where you're actually using NFC to help with your Bluetooth pairing, you can see that whole process at once. You can visit www.fte.com slash NFC.